Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of I Have Notes. Um, it's the usual crew talking about, we have an IMDb. That's a thing that we have. I'm already messing up the intro, and that's fine, though. It's all organic. It's fluid. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're going to talk about some creative things. We're going to talk about uh, our personal lives. We're going to talk about uh, video games becoming anime. Uh, my name is Kerry Shawcross, and I'm joined by my co-host, Issa Badiola. Hello. Hi. Thanks, Carrie, for the intro. Um, uh, we're also joined by our very super special, as always, <laughs> our super special guests, Aaron and Jordan. Hi. That's not Aaron. Look at that special, <laughs> look at that special boy. Hi. Hey, I'm Jordan. <laughs> hey, y'all. my cat's here. Which I'm a cat. I'm this a level with y'all. That, uh, <laughs> that was the worst intro I've ever done before. Yeah, before uh, we started rolling, Carrie said, "Oh, I forgot the intro," and I said, "Just, just wing it." I shouldn't I do that. I, I wish I hadn't said that. Yeah, don't say that <laughs> next time. It's I'm okay. Very supportive of you, Carrie. It worked out. I appreciate it. I love. Um, we have an IMDb. <laughs> we have an IMDb. <laughs> we have an IMDb. IMDb that we we're all not, share. We're... Yeah, we have <laughs> one. IMDb. We have a group IMDb. Carrie, there's a ghost behind you. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, my cat's scared. The, yeah, Alex. Alex scared your cat away. Yeah, that was he could, so funny. He could so sense funny. the negative energy. Uh, hey, in how's the small window? It was hard to see. Yeah, it was, was really spooky. This is low how's the? Uh... Oh, no, back. Oh. Oh. I, I'm closing. I can't like make out what's happening. Carrie's house okay. is haunted. Yeah. Yeah. Ha How's uh how's everybody's week been? Oh, my cat. Oh, he got turned oh. into a cat. <laughs> <laughs> this is my That's roommate, spooky. Alex the cat. Oh, he's he's such gonna a bite me. Oh, oh yeah. I love so... I love everything about Can we oh, look at we him. should just look at his turn extra hand is a little extra finger. Turn extra um, <laughs> the intro to uh three out of four of the host four of the guests usually have cats and yeah. that is just right. the highlight of I have nuts for me. It's true. Pretty much. Before we Welcome were recording. To, to I Have Cats, <laughs> the podcast where we show our cats. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I also feel have like, an IMDb. I feel like my last week has been more of a lead up to this week because it's it's kind of just um, just getting busy for yeah. and getting prepared for the busyness of this week. But mm -hmm. hey, at least we have a day off because of Fourth of July this weekend. How Does is it everyone else when? When that happens, does it also sometimes like weirdly stress y'all out? Like for people like when we yeah, like if you have a lot of meetings normally, that extra day just means like everything has to happen in the four yeah. other days with uh, no extra time. And yeah. it stresses me out. Yeah. My Friday know. meetings just usually get canceled. Wow. Well. Wish that was me. <laughs> <laughs> La di da. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a lot of well, stuff usually are. Our, our I have notes meetings happen on Fridays. Are they getting moved this week? Are they going to get moved to Thursday? It did. Yeah. Yes, they got they got moved. Okay. To Thursday. Check your calendar. I saw it get updated, but I wasn't sure if yeah. the day changed. Well, Aaron, have... how's your how's your week been? Well, I mean, considering it's Monday. Yeah. Or not much has happened. But oh, man, this weekend. Oh, All yeah? right. Two things happened. OK, so first thing. I was driving home from picking up food last night mm -hmm. and it started raining and some car, actually it was a truck, <gasps> pulled out in front of me and it was a big black truck <sighs> and had in fancy calligraphy font said titties on the back window. <laughs> oh it just my like started God. to spin out. I was like, whoa, whoa the, titty, the titty mobile, the titty truck is spinning out. Uh, luckily they did not get hurt. <laughs> But okay, that was that was one highlight of my now, or my Sunday. Oh my god! Okay, couple clarifying questions. Yes, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and enunciate as best as possible. Okay. Titties or titties? Titties. Titties. T i d i e s. That's a whole yeah. other okay. level. Yeah. My brain always goes to double T first, but no, yeah, this was double is, D's. Do uh, you, you think there's some like wordplay going on there? Like, I guess. it was really weird because that Ooh. was the only thing on the truck. Like, besides that, it was like pristine black truck. Oh my god! How, how big was the? Sticker? It was pretty big. Yeah, it's big like, like one third of the back window. Oh my god! It was, it was quite wow. yeah. I it was bold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I, Second thing. So, so they oh. hydroplaned? Yeah, they and, hydroplaned. And yes. they didn't hit anything? Surprisingly, no. Anything. It was like, they were kind of like drifting. Yeah. And I was by myself and like a loser. I was just like, <laughs> As if like somebody else was in the car with me. <laughs> it's scary when you see people yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. And then they, they somehow managed to recover. And that was one exciting thing that happened, not to me, to somebody else, I guess. <laughs> oh, I mean, you, you experienced it. <laughs> Exper- yeah. I guess. You could have stopped the story at I saw a truck that said titties, titties. on the back. Yeah, this is also true. And that true. still would have been like a good exciting. story. <laughs> this is also true. What else happened? Oh, then. So my weekend then. was mostly filled with like DIY, finishing up my apartment at last. Um, so I was touching oh. up the paint on some of my furniture since it got scratched in the move. Oh. Um, so I had done that, all good and done, started hammering up the can. And my cat Lucas, who was sitting on my lap earlier, he is terrified of loud noises, like thunderstorms, fireworks, oh, no. anything like that. He's out. Um, so when I was hammering the can closed, I guess it just like spooked him, and uh, he dropped the tiniest turd. I think oh. I scared the literal shit out of my cat, and I wasn't sure at first because I was like, oh, maybe he was just in the litter box and like just tracks him out no he like actively like wow. took a dump like a tiny little wow. oh and it was oh god the smell i don't know what oh, he no. ate but it was the worst herd i didn't i guess yeah. i i did i didn't know that was like a real thing but i guess it, it is yeah, yeah i didn't either like the, <laughs> what one other time he's done this was at the vet which is kind of understandable but yeah. this was me hammering a paint can closed yeah i mean we've we've all we've all had an accidental shit at the doctors like, yeah. you know, <laughs> no one's gonna lie about that but not at home depot <laughs> sometimes you're walking like by the paint area and yeah you're, you know they're sealing up a new can and it's just like what <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta yeah, run was... to the toilet section <laughs> you know you stick one of the orange buckets and you're like all right this is it <laughs> <laughs> So that, reminds right. me, that reminds me of one of my favorite animation bits we did in an episode of Camp Camp uh, in his last season, I think. Uh, the one where they're trying to figure out who peed in the lake. Oh my and, God. And uh, when Nerf is telling his part, and uh, <laughs> he get basically he gets so mad, he decides to pee into the lake out of anger. And uh, <laughs> he gets spotted by another character, and we have him like peeing, and then like we pan over to reveal the character that sees him, and like he sees him, and like kind of jumps and like oh, the yeah. stops for a second oh, no. <laughs> oh. i always like i think that like i'm above Such like nice laughing at, at poopy and peepee but it's funny sometimes <laughs> oh, still yeah. like i don't care how that, old uh, I get. that yeah that story took me by surprise i was not yeah, expecting i didn't do a double take i like was like laugh. did you really just shit right now <laughs> and like also I, was, like, oh, I hope he's not like still going <laughs> so i like had to grab yeah. him he was like limping away and, like oh it's like, yep, like get him to like a drop a tiled yeah, surface exactly like, oh, <laughs> oh, i goodness. also jordan that story just made me think of we need to get like the like a nerf uh car sticker like mm-hmm. you know like the with, with him like peeing on something yeah oh, like yeah. uh calvin oh we're yeah on, all like, the, the illegal logo or, yeah. or jeff gordon um yeah <laughs> That's what that's what that pose was based on. That was the direction I gave we Jordan should... Battle. It was like just make him look like Calvin, the the bumper sticker, peeing on something. I'm just trying to think about like what we could have him pee on that would be appropriate. Nerf. Yeah, boy. Space kid. <laughs> well, yeah, at least another character. At, at least first, he has like... the helmet. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I just for our audio listeners, uh, just in that small section of silence when Jordan or Carrie said "boy," both Carrie and Jordan both had this like thousand yard stare as they're trying to. I like... was really thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't, I don't half-ass ideas. I brought this to the table. I need to figure out what, what... we need is a is a line of things that people could you you know use to express things that they don't like that yeah we could um, it could so just you be have him nerf, peeing so yeah other. you have n- nerf peeing on nothing and then you add your own sticker yeah. or we do a line of like sports teams mm. um, <laughs> uh anime would... that you might not like <laughs> oh. <laughs> i, I kind of want to come like you don't think are very good <laughs> yeah just like put our logo like right 
right there. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to go full circle and see if I can get like a realistic Blaine who voices Nerf, mm. like his head oh. being like, no, don't pee on me, character that I voice. <laughs> oh, I think I that, bad. that reminds me of one of my favorite memes where it's like a like a flower dying of thirst. He's like, oh, no, please <laughs> water me. I'm a thirsty little flower. And the only thing that could save me is your pee. <laughs> Yep. Memes that's my are like, this is, is, well, that how a... it, is that how it's like? <laughs> is that how you, the voice is supposed to be read, or is that just how you read it? Aaron? That's how I read it in my mind. But it's a I'm very wilted looking flower. It's like a I'm... little shy flower. No, yeah. I need your pee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's doing like the Please toes in. Like... I'm willing to bet that if we it's, all it's saw that emojis, where it's like the two fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good pee pee boy. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, These are our very me. special guests, Aaron and Jordan. <laughs> and calling it. No more no more yep. pee pee poo poo the rest of the whole okay, episode. Okay, done. We got it out. Done. That's true, yeah. You want to bet? Once we get going, we can't stop. <laughs> Just do we need like to, when I do we need to take poo-poo? the negativity yeah. jar and then turn it into a pee pee poo poo joke jar? <laughs> I think I think we might need to. <laughs> yeah, we have, we've had a bit I'm a little worried about calling it a pee pee poo poo jar though. <laughs> that might lead to some accidents. Um, I mean, it was labeled as such, but it's asking for trouble. Yeah. Uh, hey, I've got something I want to talk about that Ooh, literally yes, no. got announced the day our last episode came out uh, yes. and got me very angry. Uh, so there's a cool <laughs> game called Cyberpunk coming out uh, eventually. Yeah, it got pushed eventually. again. Eventually. Yeah. Maybe 2077. <laughs> Look, it, I get it. I'm not, I'm not going to fault them, but it, I think it's, is it September now? I don't fucking know. No, we're not a is. game. We're not a game. I think it might be November. I think it's fine. It's November. I don't know. But uh, they announced that uh, they're coming out with an anime, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, that's going to be done by Trigger, which is like mm. one of our like favorite anime studios. Um, they've done uh, Kill a Kill. Um, they mm. kind of worked on Darling in the Franks, but not 100%. Um, Promare. Promare. Uh, most of that crew also worked on Gurren Logan. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be directed by, uh, Imaishi who directed all those things. Um, it's got, uh, Yeo Shinari's working on it. Um, who was a character designer for a lot of that stuff. And also I believe he directed Little Witch Academia. Yes. Um, uh, and Yuto, uh, Kaneko. Um, I don't know. I'm super excited. Uh, Me too. it's, uh, I don't know much about it yet. Uh, if it's going to be. You know, like following the actual story if it's like its own thing. Um, but that world is super awesome. So the idea mm-hmm. of like trigger playing in it, it just sounds amazing. Yeah, it's it's already like so stylistic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you give you give a studio like trigger that that uh yeah. IP and it's just like, oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. It's 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 interesting that, like <laughs> what are it, they gonna do? They would not have been like if you just said there's gonna be a cyberpunk anime, they would, would have not have been my first go to. Mm. Oh, yeah, but i think that's what makes it interesting yeah you know like i i would expect yeah. it, like a studio that worked on like a ghost in the shell or something yeah yeah um what studio, like was it ig what studio mm. did the blade runner anime anybody know oh uh oh oh, oh, dang oh my it. god I'm i did gonna, at one point look it up. yeah all right you think, look it up. Think, <laughs> think, I, I was gonna look okay. it up and see if you guys <laughs> could I'm, guess but <laughs> it's definitely not triggered but I, that's who i would have guessed i believe it was directed by uh watanabe who did cowboy bebop yes and sammy shampoo so the studio that Correct. did it is yes. um yes it's the director that we know of i think i'm not familiar with any of the other studios or the production company though okay um Sci so, games pictures inc yeah I'm, and I'm, alcon not, entertainment i have not heard yeah. of them before but yeah also... Cygames- the uh blade runner is like legitimately the the one out of three things they have on their wikipedia oh, interesting. page okay so they're yeah. they're still a new yeah new studio that's huh. cool though i was gonna say um, it's like um the the trigger uh collabo it kind of mm-hmm. reminds me of um matrix you know how there was animatrix and stuff yeah i think oh, they yeah. i feel like a lot of the sci-fi um sci-fi genre type uh movies and games really take a lot of inspiration from japanese stuff which is why i think they always tend to collaborate a lot with a lot of anime studios and like anime directors i think that's really cool yeah 
And like, I think, you know, I think especially like hard sci-fi stuff mm. tends to have very fleshed out universes. Mm. Oh. So like, it makes it a little bit easier to like, hey, let's do a bunch of, yeah, the, the, I mean, the Animatrix was amazing. It was like, honestly, I liked it better than the last two movies. <laughs> the last two um, Matrixes. <laughs> which I, I don't even have like that huge of a problem with the last two Matrix. Matrix I? Matrix E? Matrix E? Um, <laughs> Matrix E's. Matrix E's, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I still liked Animatrix a ton. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm really I'm super excited about that. It's not going to come out until yeah, 2022. The, the, I know that's the only bad part. Yeah, <laughs> two years. Ugh. I mean, yeah. we've already waited this long for the game itself. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the that's game sure. will come out first. Come out before the anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious what they're working on between then because I think uh, their next the uh, they already finished. Is it is it BNA? Yeah, yeah. brand new animal. And that brand comes new. out for in the Amer in the Americas, America. Uh, I think it's tomorrow June. from when we're recording okay. this. Um, I think it's June thirtieth. Oh, that's exciting! Um, so we'll that, probably that talk was about three that. Three days ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hopefully, everybody's like, "Yeah," and it's great. Um, yeah. <laughs> but so I'm curious what they're working on in between. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Or are they working on it? Oh yeah, huh? Are they working on it now? I can't imagine they're going to, I mean, maybe I, I, it's maybe if it's like early 2022 and then they're working on it now, which gives them a year and a half to do it. Yeah. That seems like a long time, but maybe not. I don't know. Animation production. I guess we could kind of, we, we are in the business in the industry to make educated guesses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if it is early 2022 if they're already working on it but it At also depends i mean it's an anime so it's going to be it's going to be hand drawn so it's going to be like mm. higher budget yeah uh than say something like you know i'm used to working on so um, <laughs> yeah <I'm> true. <laughs> yeah. i would so. i would hope that the uh the game company that is funding or the the people who made cyberpunk is that is funding trigger that they're also like yeah we'll give you money so much money yeah, <laughs> yeah you would hope so <laughs> yeah, yeah especially after promare oh man oh, yeah, all the 3d the, all the 3d camera angles <laughs> yeah i mean they also yeah. use 3d models for a lot of the uh mecha stuff so that's true. Yeah. That's true. pretty good. Watching yeah. that movie was just like a constant, like, and okay, 2D, 3D, 2D, yeah, 3D, yeah, exactly. 2D. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. That's both. He, characters 2D inside the 3D. Me okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, have you checked out HBO Max yet? I have. Let me tell you, there are a lot of really great things, especially animated on there. Um, I've, man, the number of Ghibli films I've rewatched, like uh, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, uh, Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke. Um, I even saw Cats Return now, finally, which I hadn't yet. Um, I also uh, been rewatching The Boondocks, which I hadn't seen in a very long time, and is a very good show. Um, there are there are so many different titles on it, and the cool thing is, I mean, there's something for everybody. I'm talking about animation, but there's a ton of live action stuff. Um, there's a lot of exclusives that are only on HBO Max. Um, yeah, there's honestly just kind of something for everybody. So uh, if you want a free trial, you can get one with the link in our description. Uh, helps us out, helps them out, uh, and helps you out because you get to watch uh, cool shows like uh, the ones I said and more. So yeah, check out uh, HBO Max. It's really cool, just like you. Yeah, that's why like the term two and a half D never really like made sense to me. Yeah. Where it was like it, it's all hybridization, you know. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Which I feel like is a it's a much better term for it, which I think is really cool. And like, they definitely. They use two and a half D a lot more for video games, don't they? Nowadays, anyway. That's probably a better place for that term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see that. Where like... it's, you could say, uh, Link Between Worlds is two and a half D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm almost done with the new uh, Shantae game, uh, Shantae and the Seven Sirens, and that's like yeah. similar thing. It's like all the character models and stuff are 3D, but the backgrounds are, or like two D. The uh, the broken camera uh, on. Uh, link between worlds yeah it's like, great if you if you un like hook the camera and like do free cam mm -hmm. you see how everything is kind of placed in a strange perspective oh, everything's yeah. modeled <laughs> yeah everything's kind of stretched out <laughs> <laughs> yep and so, so that yeah so if like link is walking to the left he looks like he's looking up to the left yeah um That's but so yeah funny. it's it's just because like your top down view and it's a 3d thing they had to like skew everything it's also kind of like uh i went to a soccer game once and i always thought 
that uh they had um regular like physical stands with sponsors on uh written on them on like the end lines like next to the goals do they those not? are painted onto the ground in a perspective that makes it look like oh. that to the camera that's like high above oh. so if you're in the actual stands fuck? and you're closer to uh the uh, field level it looks it looks like that it looks warped oh, and like crazy. skewed it's like those like weird trick uh <laughs> chalk paintings that's like they do on the sidewalk breaking my brain this texture is broken excuse me yeah (laughs) it looks like somebody like we have notes free transformed it and just skewed the shit out of it it's like i have notes i have notes i I think somebody did Um, that recently with animal crossing like the the trees are like also in that very strange angle and just like Mm -hmm. half of it's like missing Mm -hmm. It's like so funny. It's smart though. I, it's like if you're not going to see it. I love tricks like that. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's all it's it's all tricking like you know the person viewing it. Mm-hmm. Like you use the camera and yeah, you just you play to the camera and, and skew it. That's that's kind of what animation is. It's just like yeah. using using <laughs> uh using tricks to like make it seem real. Well, I mean that, that's my favorite thing too is like when cuz you can tell like they I mean, I don't know this for sure, but like they pick that angle, but they're like, oh man, the models don't look really good. So they're like, okay, well, what if we just change the model? Like they didn't just go with the easy, like, let's change the camera or something. They're like, well, no, mm-hmm. let's actually like redefine how we're doing mm-hmm. this. Cause I mean, when you think about sprites drawn that way, they're probably cheated like that anyways. Oh, yeah. So they're just like, well, how do we cheat 3D? I'm willing to bet yeah. they probably did something similar for Link's Awakening, the the remake. Cause it was at a similar angle. That's a good, yeah. That's I don't know. Good point. Hmm. I that was used to be my favorite thing to do in like uh especially like the early like Halo Halo Two days was always like breaking outside of games and seeing the stuff mm-hmm. that like you weren't supposed to see. That's um, interesting. There's this whole uh there's this forum dedicated to it called High Impact Halo that I was like <laughs> on all the time and it was just all it was all about like breaking out of levels and finding glitches and all that stuff and it was like wow. how I spent my childhood it was like let me break this game. I feel like I've uh, the concept, I guess, of like kind of breaking the game is interesting for me, if only because I feel like my brain is not necessarily wired to like being ex or curious about it. I think the first time I kind of thought, oh, a lot of people do this a lot is uh, watching Jordan um, watch a lot of speed runs. I was going to bring up speed runs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's like classic example of breaking um, the game, but doing it in at, in a maximum kind of potential or maximum output, and it's just like, how how can you be so smart? <laughs> like, it, it's because they're desperate. <laughs> it's because they're desperate to make it all fit on the cartridge, so they're like, okay, we'll do this. Yeah, exactly. It, that's what it. That's what it comes down to. Is like you can see all the shortcuts to like maximize as much memory. Mm-hmm uh the car uh the cartridge will let you put in it um and that's why you get weird stuff like in in zelda speed runs you can wrong warp because it's all like number directories and stuff and if you like mess with one value and do something specific it reads to this other value and you end up in a place you're not supposed to be Um, yeah that's a big thing in pokemon too is like you know all of the pokemon are registered at these values so if you can just shift it using some weird yeah. means that you can get any Pokemon or like that's duplicate. what um, they do in oh. Pokemon speed runs where they will manipulate the RNG of um, their trainer ID, I think, so that they can yeah. get like a certain item or I think it's to get like a Pokemon easily or something. What? Um, and you do that by manipulating when you create your file. What? So you wait a certain amount of time or you reset on a certain frame and then you you get it it's some it's some crazy That's shit weird. and i don't like and a lot of the stuff they find by just like trial and error and exploration and data mining and i mean ocarina so, of time is came out what 98 97 yeah, this game is almost 25 years old oh, and gosh. they're still finding you should Issa, in the six months since I last saw you, <laughs> <laughs> speedrunning that game has changed so much. It's like, <laughs> it changes all the time. Yeah. I like the and idea speaking that. Speaking of the Matrix, you know, just. <laughs> yeah. I like the idea that when we get back to the office, it's not going to be like Jordan Issa like hugging and saying hi. It's going to be like Jordan's like, oh, look, at, check out this speed run. <laughs> look how the speed run's different. Accurate. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly how it's going to go. Look I'll how quick you got the, like, the oh, new game. Deku nut. <laughs> Deku. <laughs> Do you, do you say, yeah, as I was say, do you see Deku or Deku? I see Deku. I see Deku. I, as I usually should. do. 
Yeah. I used <laughs> to say Deku, but I'm dumb. Yeah. I was a dumb I, kid. When I was a oh, child. I, I used to yeah, mispronounce every word in that game. <laughs> yeah, did I you, think did ahead, you call him like Wink? Would you would, did you get Link no, right? It was just like okay. it would be like I don't even think I knew how to say Ocarina. I think I just called it a uh, oh, okay. uh Okay. Okay. Some, like an Okana or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Cockery <That> forest. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of um, when uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake came out, and there were uh, basically factions of people who said, it's Mako, They're, I'm right, and people go, no, it's been Mako this entire time, and it's just like, oh, you guys. <laughs> yeah. I remember that with uh, uh, Rattata, the Pokemon. I don't yeah, know why, like when I was hilarious. a kid, I always read it as uh, Ratatata. Right. Like I put an extra A in there. Another, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I just look around like, oh, check out my, my Ratatata. It's in the top 5% <laughs> of all Ratatatas. And then like, like, I don't remember. It's just at some point, like in my adult life, I looked at it when someone went, oh, it's Rattata. Yeah, that's how you say that. Huh. <laughs> I thought you said... I'm a fucking idiot. And I just like... <laughs> It's like how know. I spelled segue segue way, but I was an adult when I said that. <laughs> Jordan's Forgot laughing because I did it to him. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't like, know yeah, segue was spelled as S E G U E. I thought Segui. it was like seg yeah. and then way. Yeah, so I that's how I re segue re remind myself how to spell it. Like segue, <laughs> segue. <laughs> I have. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I've talked about this somewhere else. I think, but I have. I have some words like that where it's like I there's like if i read this word i'm never going to get it the first time it's always going to be weird uh the biggest one for me that i can remember is uh epitome yep oh right. i was that's gonna the say one. that one i cannot one. not read epitome every single yeah. time <laughs> I, i'm reading a book and i see epitome and i go what the fuck is an epitome oh epitome. <laughs> fuck every time every time oh, so i feel like an asshole Did it, i feel like joe nicolosi uh, I, former writer and creative on Rooster Teeth, he he was he felt very strongly about Epitome. <laughs> did he? <laughs> like, do, no, it's do Epitome. Do you guys remember? It's Epitome. Yeah, he would go. It's Epitome, and I'm just like Joe. <laughs> I remember him having a lot of I won't say strange or bad takes, but just wrong takes <laughs> on spelling in English. In he 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 was focused on the creative and not right. whether or not. Maybe the script was spelled correctly. He, yeah, he would and not I be respect restrained that. by the laws of English. Oh yeah, I'm I'm definitely in that camp. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm a very like let me just type it and see what happens. Um, the okay. worst. Go ahead, I don't. Okay. I was just I don't know like what the fuck it is about the way that I always want to spell uh, inconvenience. Oh. But mm. the way that I naturally try and spell it without thinking too hard and just kind of typing it, no. Uh, no like a uh, spell check will even guess what i'm trying to say <laughs> <laughs> and i just can't fucking understand how i'm that far off i feel like an asshole i don't know what it is like sounds i sounds really inconvenient it is you know <laughs> it is i i hate when um just real quick uh like i'm typing something especially on the um uh, iphone keyboard and i'm like halfway through the word and i've already misspelled it and i'm counting on <laughs> autocorrect to know what i'm trying to say and either autocorrect it or offer me a suggestion that i can just click on yeah. or something and i feel like it's close enough and then it's just like i got nothing and i'm like come on <laughs> this is your job <laughs> to like type the word again you're just First like i just problem i just need a little p I just need a little P. Please. Did somebody say P? Paul, P, 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 jar. Damn it. Issa, what um, were you going to say a second ago? So on the, to go back on the topic of Joe Nicolosi, and um, he, he's just going on typing. I'm not going to call him out on this specific instance, but he did this thing where uh, he typed it in the script, and we call him out for all of his uh, grammar and spelling check errors, but this one, this one passed into making an asset. And <laughs> he was <laughs> reviewing the asset with a team of people, like the producers, um, the assistant producers, like the artists. He sees this asset and he doesn't admit it until way later that he goes, yeah, I saw you guys made that and I realized that I spelled the word wrong and I didn't say anything. 
it was, no. it was a thing where he used it was the correct spelling of a word but he yes. wanted a word that sounded like this word uh, that's amazing that was that was the thing i know he does is he'll go through a script and he'll have all his spelling errors and then he'll uh he said he would <laughs> give it to his wife to read and then she would correct them all and um just just the spelling errors like she's not reading it for context and stuff sure so if a word is spelled correctly exactly. even if it's the wrong word oh, no. that still gets like it gets past spell check and it gets past his proofreader i i just want to take a second he is <laughs> literate i just want to be clear <laughs> Like, I don't want to throw him too far to the bus. Like, he knows how to, he knows how we to spell. Him. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, that's I just, just great. I, th I think he, yeah, he just prioritizes the funny but and I, the story. I'd like to imagine he's in that, like, review and, like, he sees the asset and he's, like, just thinking, mm -hmm. what the fuck is this? Why did they make yes. this? Yes, this And he goes back and checks the script. He's, like, what the ah, fuck? fuck. <laughs> yep, <that's laughs> right. yep. Do you remember what it was, Isa? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I do. Should I just say it? Um, I, don't, I, I don't remember, so I was just wondering. So it is, uh, he, instead of using the word trap, he used the word tarp. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Let's, That's very let's, understandable. We'll just, yeah, it's gotcha. understandable, but also imagine being Joe, <laughs> or like being someone like Joe, and just sitting in the review room going, why did they that's, make a fucking that's not why that's not the, yeah. what is this and then he realizes what he did and he's like i'm never gonna admit this to anyone i mean now everybody knows to be fair i feel like a lot of traps rely on tarps so it's true if which it's is not, why. like whole ones yeah. yeah yeah the context was like okay cool but he was also like what <laughs> yeah so that's one of the, the one of the rare things where in context it makes sense spelling it makes sense yeah and then like it's just like no that's just not what i want it's so funny <laughs> hey yeah the number of people that pass i mean that's that's how it works sometimes like the number of people who will watch something and then like mm -hmm. you get to that final export and you're like oh fuck, that's wrong <laughs> well cool great <laughs> yeah, awesome cool, great. how did how did literally 20 to 30 other people never see this awesome cool we're, we're all human we're all <laughs> we're all human beings Human. Well, um, uh, since we're talking about writing stuff, do we want to get into one of the topics we wanted to talk about? Yeah, who was it? Was it Aaron? Did you bring this one, or was Me it Issa? Yes, it was Aaron. Aaron, yeah. Aaron had some idea. really good topics. Don't don't you drink that fucking water? Oh shit! Now's yeah, the time to talk. Go, talk. I might have to pee later. <laughs> um, <laughs> Put it in the jar. <laughs> Something made it worse when you whispered it. I don't know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like you like let us into a secret. <laughs> Okay, Anyways, please go ahead. So my question, because I don't know about you guys, but I get this question a lot on Twitter, Tumblr, all those things. Um, no one asked how me. How do y'all overcome either art block or writer's block? Mm. And how do you, how do you deal with it? How do you go about your day? God, I wish I knew. <laughs> my my That's when you said how do you go about questions. your day, it's like oh I, I mean asking. being miserable after. <laughs> No, I mean, I, it's tough. Cause like, it, it's also like, I can, I've got to imagine it's a lot different, you know, like when you're working creatively professionally versus not, cause it's like, mm. yeah, I mean, we've all experienced it's like, you don't have time to be yeah. blocked. Um, I think my, yeah, so you actually have to like solve that problem yeah. <laughs> immediately. Yeah. I think the first thing I do is figure out if I, if I can put it off. Um, nice. But I think my, depending on what it is, my go-to is to either, like if I'm writing something and like a scene isn't working or something like that, I kind of like will go back to my outline and and either like re-outline it or or just kind of look at it. But honestly, like the thing that helps me the most is talking it through with somebody else um, hmm. is, is, you know, even if they don't, you know, whether it's like for, like for me, when it's like one of the other writers or another director or anybody just like, getting another set of eyes on it to go like hey is there something here that i'm like super missing like is this actually easy and i'm not and i'm thinking about it too much or you know if, if they throw out an idea even if even if it's not the idea end up going with it at least like kind of like gets me out of this like i feel like i'm like falling into a hole of like all of my ideas are terrible i'm the worst i how can i not figure this out and to have somebody else go like oh yeah that's okay that's interesting yeah we could do this and this like it at least like gets me yeah. going yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. um that's kind of my go-to 
Uh, it doesn't always work, to be perfectly yeah, honest. That's a, that's a good go-to. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That's a, I really like the point that you mentioned, Jordan, about kind of like um, the difference between doing something creatively professionally <laughs> versus I get in, like maybe in your free time because there's an element of survival <laughs> that is, yeah that is yeah. there so therefore uh I think Carrie's answer to it in terms of like you, you do have to ask someone uh for feedback and it kind of gets you thinking about a different perspective puts hmm, how do I put it? it that's that feels like the right answer uh, because I feel like that is also one of the quickest ways to get out of the block. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it can suck, though, because it, sometimes it can feel like you're giving up. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, I um, understand that. The other side of it, too, is uh, you drag somebody else into it, and yes. now they're just as confused <laughs> oh, <no>. and <laughs> sad as you are for <laughs> presenting them with this problem. I don't know how many times uh, Miles and I have gone to, like, Eddie for help, oh. and he's just been like, oh, man, yeah, I don't i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's gonna keep thinking about it yeah, yeah. i think the that trap. goes to show like the trap oh uh, sorry i think target. that goes to show too <laughs> good good bit i think that also goes to show too the um the necessity of having different voices as well in the writing mm -hmm. room uh Whoa, different mindsets <laughs> um <laughs> different having uh someone who is inherently different um, and the room will actually kind of help open everyone else's mind about what the other possibilities are. Uh, so there's this instance um, on a personal for me, I think um, uh, Vito, one of our uh, animators on 3D, he um, yep. was talking about this character that he had and he, he didn't really understand who this character was or who could this character could be. And I go, oh, this character kind of, to me, sounds like a type A Asian stereotype, you know, it's like very... <laughs> very invested in their like education and like wanting to be perfect and later he was telling me he goes that was that was the thing that was like the key to opening his interpretation of the character and being invested in it because mm. it was just a different perspective that he never considered it's just like oh this this person could be this this guy and now he had an image so i i think that's that's something to be something to say is important <laughs> is yeah I like i you know, I, there, there's a lot of debate, I think, a lot of times of, like, whether or not, like, the, the auteur approach is good of just, like, having, like, one person. I'm, I'm, I'm much more of a fan of, like, a hybrid approach where, like, maybe there is, like, you know, one or two people that are kind of the, like, the, the, the main force behind something. But I think it's important to have more voices in because it's just going to be better. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it e even even when people throw out ideas that you don't go with. The fact that you talked about them and weighed them and still felt like you know the original idea or something was was mm. worth it i can't say how many times like we may i may have already talked to this so i apologize everything's a blur at this point but like the number <laughs> of times in like the ruby's writers room where we we have an idea we go down like another path because there's like one kind of thing broken about an idea oh, yeah. we go completely mm -hmm. down another path and then end up circling back to the original thing again and then solving that issue because we realized in the end, we like that first thing better. Like the number of times that's happened is, is crazy. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like, you need to be able to like, what is it? Kill your darlings, but also like yeah. resuscitate them. I feel like, <laughs> <laughs> like if it makes sense to, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta you keep gotta the, the tombstone there in case you just like, no, come back <laughs> and dig them up. Yeah. yeah. You have a shovel on the side. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say the prodigal plan. Yeah. <laughs> you push them to the side, but you don't forget. Yeah. And then, and they'll come back. It's like, oh, it was you all along. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And now they're yeah, like a definitely. cool zombie baby. In this new tech age, we're all experiencing more eye strain than ever before. And it is because of blue light coming from all of these screens, from your phones, your tablets, computers, TV. The common symptoms from spending too much time in front of these screens are headaches, blurry vision, dry and tired eyes, and even trouble sleeping. That happens to me every single night. So one of the best ways to actually fix this is our glasses, blue light glasses and Felix Grey is top of the line. There's a lot of blue light glasses on the market, but they're not created equal. But Felix Grey uses a proprietary filtering technology that filters 
15 times more blue light in the same range. It's pretty awesome. Felix Grey frames are hand finished from durable, super lightweight Italian acetate. Very fancy. And you can order them online, try them 30 days risk free. They'll ship directly to you with a new hard case and a lens cloth. And if the screens aren't easier on your eyes, you can send them back for a full refund. Go to felixgrayglasses.com slash I have notes for the absolute best quality blue light filtering glasses on the market. That's F E L I X G R A Y glasses.com slash I have notes. Shipping and returns are totally free at Felix Gray. Felixgrayglasses.com slash I have notes. <laughs> uh, I agree about like the 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 Artur way of like I don't know how, and especially with series, like one person writes everything. Yeah. Um, like, like an Aaron Sorkin or uh, Damon Lindelof type. I don't know. I it's not that I think they shouldn't do it or anything, but I just don't know literally how they do it. Um, because, special. <laughs> and I, I feel like I've I've done for camp camp especially like every which way of like. The system is usually like writers always get together in the writer's room. We break the episode of like, you know, its main premise and bit uh, beats and all the jokes that we want in it. And uh, then like assign one person or maybe a team of people um, to write that episode. And they kind of go off and they do it by themselves. And then we reconvene and talk about it and stuff like that. Um, and so whenever I'm writing an episode by myself, I feel like. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel less confident than if I'm writing with an episode with Miles because then we're in the room together and we're going beat by beat and there's a cat on my desk. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and um, you're never writing by yourself because there's always a cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> there's a wall over there. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I've done it like every way you can do it. And I always like, I always like having someone there that like in the moment you can uh, bounce an idea off of or something. Yeah. Cause it, it makes it faster and it makes you feel like there's less pressure on you to like yeah. get it right the first time. Mm. Yeah. I would say, uh, if, uh, or Aaron, do you want to talk about, sorry, do you want to talk about no, first? Sure. I, I was, uh, was going to throw out a thing, but I went, go, go ahead. I mean, I have more of a different perspective just because I am an artist and not so yeah. much a writer. Um, my writing approach has always been in college. It's like you wait the night before to finish your essay <laughs> and then you get a yes. on it and it's like, yes. <laughs> um, but for at least, uh, like y'all mentioned, having a deadline definitely like helps, uh, kind of lights fire under your butt and kind of makes you more like decisive in your decisions, <laughs> I guess. Mm. Um, it's like and that you have to decide yeah, exactly. yeah. It's, like, it's like okay these, these are my options i have to pick one of these and that's it you have to move well, it, on and it's always going to be better to to show up to a deadline with, with something a, with something with a draft exactly because yeah. at least then you can talk about what's not working about it exactly you know versus just being like oh i couldn't even get there mm -hmm. i don't know what to do like all that does is delay it exactly yeah, yeah. so that's how i yeah. approach it like as an artist like with the like a professional job, mm. a professional artist, but like as a hobby artist, like that definitely, like I, I suffer like a lot of art block that way. Um, yeah. and sometimes I'll give myself like the deadline too, but since it's mm. like this pseudo not real deadline, like I don't feel as motivated to like yeah. try to crank out something. Right. So usually in that case, I'll either, I'll just take a break and I won't come, like I won't do any art for a while. Um, Cause sometimes you just need a, a break and breaks are yeah. fine um otherwise i'll just like switch up like things i'm like currently consuming like play different video games or uh look at different artists that i've never seen before um just like try to like freshen it up because i feel like usually if i hit arc block it's because i don't know what to draw and like my visual library hasn't been like refreshed enough if that makes mm. sense so yeah. it's hard to kind of think outside the box when you've it's, accidentally yeah. created a box for yourself, like over the exactly. last yeah, couple yeah. of weeks or something. Oh, yeah. I definitely, yeah, I, something, something I do when I can't like either like talk to somebody else or if that's not really helping. And this, you kind of said something like this too. And it definitely works a lot easier when you don't have a deadline because this can fuck you accidentally. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times like 
for me, it's so much, it's like, I think it is, it is better to, uh, not stress yourself out, give yourself a little bit of time to reset than it is to try and just push through sometimes. Yeah. Definitely. Like the number of times, like it's been like 6 PM and I'm like, Oh, I really need to work on this script. Yeah. It, I usually work better personally, like instead of just like powering through the next two hours, slamming a Red mm -hmm. Bull after being tired from like all day of working, I'd rather just wake up a little bit earlier. Yeah, definitely. And mm. like come at it. And because a lot of times, like I, I, when I come at it that way, one, I'm now thinking about it like the rest of the night in like the yeah. back of my head. So mm -hmm. like maybe something will click, but then I come at it fresh in the morning and go, okay, what was really the problem? What did, yeah. you know, like it lets you like reset a little bit more. That being said, yeah. if you come back the next morning and you're still like, ah, fuck that can mess you up a little bit and sometimes you do just need to <laughs> like oh, shit, power no through. time right i was gonna say so, it's like oh there's a problem <laughs> that's a little bit easier if, if it's more like uh like a hobby or like uh yeah, on your yeah. own yeah like i know um i haven't mentioned it in a while but my one month sketchbook actually oh. did not i was not able to finish it because um the last week uh of the month i was moving that's and fair. i was like I was like, oh, uh, like I could finish it if I really wanted to. Like I'm on page like 90 something out of like 130. Um, Ooh, that's pretty like, good. If I if I tried really hard, it probably could have gotten done in a night or two. But I was oh. like, I'm going to be miserable if I do that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. And I'll just really start drawing like the same fulfilled. thing. Yeah, exactly. Like it, it, it'll kind of defeat the purpose. So that's I'm, yeah. I'm still going to come back to this. Um, but I'm just kind of giving myself a break. But yeah. I am going to finish it. Well, I mean, I think that's a big part of it though is it's just taking care of yourself like yeah, definitely. so so much i feel like for me personally like so much you know creative block comes from me being burnt out and stressed yeah. and tired um yeah so it's like you know giving yourself that time to 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 walk away i think mm -hmm. can can be really helpful um walk away and not do a similar like yeah like substitute it with something very similar to it mm -hmm. like um if you're again doing art as like a hobby don't go and be like oh i'm tired of drawing i'm gonna go paint instead like go do right. something like completely different like i'm gonna go for a skateboard job yeah skateboard <laughs> radical um yeah one thing uh this is this is something i got from uh, paula decanini one of our uh, episode directors is that this is a little bit more on like the focus side like if you're having trouble um mm -hmm. like staying on it there's a uh is it pomodoro pomodoro technique um it's basically like like there's like a bunch of websites there's one called like tomato timer um oh yeah i use that a yeah lot but ba basically yeah basically you set up like okay i'm gonna work for 25 minutes or maybe 40 minutes and then i'm gonna take a 10 or 20 minute break and the thing that's nice about that is like the re a lot of times the reason i get hung up on stuff is because uh i i have at least a little bit of adhd um I, I keep wanting to think about other things and I can't let myself like uh, focus in yeah. and like get fully enveloped. So something about that timer is really helpful because it says, okay, for the next 25 minutes, you don't need to do anything else. You don't need to check your phone. Mm -hmm. There's no emergencies. They'll call whatever. You don't need to check your email or your Slack. You don't need to think about that other thing you need to do. You know, if a th thought comes in your mind, write it down and move on. But like for the next 25 minutes, you are focused on this thing. Like that yeah. can help sometimes too. Yeah. I know you can like, uh, it is like a Google extension um, that you can download. So you can like block or unblock certain websites that you need. Um, like oh, I'll, shit. I'll block, That's cool. <laughs> I'll block Twitter, yeah. but I'll That's unblock Pinterest because I'll use Pinterest uh, for like mm. reference. Uh, okay. um, Google, I'll keep unblocked, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But like Bernie, YouTube, Twitter, et cetera, like I'll block those. Bernie sees stuff like that where he would like, yeah, block like yeah all like all social media and stuff for like an hour yep. or something he was just like he, uh, he he was doing some like terminal command or something but it was like he would just do that so it's like yep can't do anything else right now mm -hmm. have you seen those um types of i guess they're word processors but basically they're like they they look like little like speak and spell children's toys but they're basically writing uh computers that all they do is write yeah they're almost like okay. a digital typewriters or something else. yeah exactly you can't do anything else on them they, they can't connect to the internet oh okay. there's no uh there's no uh like os there's no, no fun games. allowed yeah 100 <laughs> productivity uh i think uh, i think i saw kiersey talking about uh oh, oh really either she has one or one broke or something That's and funny. they're like kind of expensive um I don't know. for for a thing that doesn't do 
anything but type. Um, well, I mean, when you get niche like that, it's like a, how like the TI-84 calculators are like $200 yeah, or something. And it's like, uh, you know, this is a website now, right? <laughs> <laughs> like you've heard of Wolfram Alpha. Like we're good. We don't oh, need God, you anymore, fam. So funny. Oh, man. There's, um, oh, wait. I had a thought. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say you could just get horse blinders too. <laughs> just like. That's hilarious. Just <laughs> so they don't ever see. I was see looking it. to see if I had any sticky notes to like stick right, right here. <laughs> Sometimes that's I, what you need. I, I, on a personal level for me, I kind of learned that um, limiting myself that way has actually made me more miserable. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yes. There is I, no art without suffering. Yeah, basically. <laughs> F. <laughs> I played myself. Um, I, I put I did that to myself. I think the first week or two that we were working from home because of quarantine, mm -hmm. and I realized I was just not. I don't know if I was more productive or not, but I was definitely more tired. And I mean, to be mm -hmm. fair, let's be real. I was probably tired because I was more productive, but um, it's fair. It is. I I think I kind of had to like balance my idea of happiness over whether or not I really wanted to like do this uh block for me and now I'm at a point where I'm like oh, okay I kind of just things happened and now I realize I'm doing the the biggest way for me to overcome my block is just to do something that is different like you said Aaron I think that's mm -hmm. a really great piece of advice mm -hmm. um uh and not it's not one-to-one -one, but for me I'm kind of like oh I'm actually kind of really into editing right now <laughs> Nice. Oh, um, cool. So I'm I'm using that to my advantage uh, with my show, and that I get to edit some of this marketing <sighs> stuff I get to do. So that's actually kind of nice. I yeah, I've got like that was actually like a really like weird thing that came out of like uh, all the quarantine work from home stuff was like it had been so long since I got to do like more live actiony stuff. So like getting my mic set up, getting the cameras, the lights, all that stuff was actually this like like itch I hadn't scratched in a long time. And it definitely like just like in general made me feel a little bit better. I don't know. That was it was like a weird time because it's like I wasn't happy about doing it, but I was like, I mean, if I gotta, I guess I might yeah. as well enjoy it. It makes you feel uh, productive, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of uh um like one off creatives and stuff, uh, this is my segue to our final topic. What the fuck is up with this Christopher Nolan thing? Yeah, I saw. <laughs> yeah. Who posted I put, that? I put that in the last. I put minute. that. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, "What?" Jordan, please tell us. <laughs> please tell us. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Christopher Nolan is is uh, on the trends uh, today because of the story that came out. I think from Anne Hathaway that said um, he doesn't allow chairs on his set because it implies that if you're sitting, you're not working. Oh. And uh, hold on. That's a uh, toxic mm, bullshit anyway, right there. Um, oh. Hard at work on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, you can't put your hands on that armrest. <laughs> That's cheating. This is, it, it's <laughs> like you know the what? toilet thing we were talking about. <laughs> can I, can I be I honest? I already feel more productive. Do you feel like you're working here? <laughs> yeah, my back you look like does you have a hunchback. hurt. I do. I do. Oh, you get your squats in. Camera. Yeah. Unless. Is this better? <laughs> I, I think it's working Carrie am I productive <laughs> that's some I it, it just seems like a dumb like it, it's fine for him to dis to subscribe to that if, like, yeah if that's how he feels because sure directors sit sometimes and if he doesn't want to sit that's fine I mean they literally but, have chairs that are made specifically for them for directors yeah yeah but if you're the actor like you as the director don't need to subject them to your yeah, kind of crazy toxic. kind of work mindset. Yeah, yeah, like they're arguably working harder than you are, Christopher Nolan. Oh shit. Christopher Nolan. Yeah. I'm uh, doing just, a yeah. read on Christopher Nolan right here. <laughs> I mean, I get like there's a part of me that's like, I guess it works because his movies are good, but also like but yeah, that worked it works know, for him. Is that is that why they were good though? I kind of yeah. doubt it. <laughs> like would you like, have I'm gotten a worse performance from someone? if they had the ability to sit down i don't think yeah, so i don't i don't i don't know that bane standing is what made him be bane you know like i don't i don't know if That's... he had sat he would have been even even less intelligible 
I can imagine too Christopher Nolan kind of just like seeing he's trending and seeing the reason why he'll just be like oh, no one understands my vision yeah. <laughs> my art <laughs> like, I just I all I can think about when I hear about that stuff is like I'm just imagining the fucking like producers having to like enforce it because oh, you know no. like he I'm sure he talked to somebody he was like yeah let's not let's not have chairs like I, I think it'd be better if everybody stands and then like there's a bunch of producers now they're just like Oh, fuck. okay yeah um hey let's get the chairs out uh like now they have to like make this happen <laughs> how do you with, like cattle prods like no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, okay i'm sorry we're going back to it but like i would just like every time i wasn't working i'd just be like hey i gotta take a shit and i just go sit <laughs> yeah. on the toilet like well, that, that reminds me of the the, the very uncomfortable toilets that are like out of oh, yeah like, what yeah. a 45 degree yeah. angle or some bullshit yep yep I... <laughs> that's yeah that's also toxic. I, so that's yeah. that's two dollars in the pee pee poo poo jar. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That one was worth it because I fucking sick burned Christopher Nolan. So I mean, I, I am excited to see his new movie whenever it comes out. Yeah, whatever. But, but it has to be seen in theaters because that is the experience. I'm so mad about that because we, as employees of Warner Media, have access to watch it at home when it's released. <laughs> So yeah. we don't even need to go to the theater to see it. And I just, just want to watch it already because I wasn't going to need to be theater in anyway. theaters. Yeah. <laughs> just come out so I can watch it at home. I saw somebody. I can't remember. This is like on Reddit or Twitter. Somebody it's like somebody's just like at this point, it's going to just just like put it in Fortnite. Just make an event out of it. <laughs> yeah. How do you think Christopher Nolan felt about the trailer dropping in Fortnite? Like, yeah what i don't even understand I feel it like they, and i feel like i'm closer to the you, the you know what happened the... there's no way they told him no you right? know what fucking yeah. happened they told him and he said no way and they said hey we did your fucking chair thing yeah. we're gonna put the trailer in fortnite okay yeah. it's Can you called full circle not fortnite? while the trailer is playing the okay, there you go. <laughs> that was the only reason he was like fine i have one condition <laughs> disable the crouch button <laughs> That's really good. I like that. I kind of oh, also man. kind of only vaguely related, but I feel like this quarantine, we're finding out that like a lot of A list celebrities or like these creators are like kind of assholes. Like Christopher oh, yeah. Nolan, Ellen. Apparently, Ellen's a bitch. Yeah. Y'all knew that? <laughs> yeah. I heard, I heard about this. I knew she was There's friends a, with George Bush. I mean, that was. That, nice yeah, that was just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much we're more. doing a read on Ellen now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like making her employees like work for dirt nothing during yeah. this quarantine, mm. like oh. in her home. I think, like I think it's just about... a lot of uh Yeah, this is this is bullshit. I I feel like I think people are just Nolan showing thing, true colors. The the yeah. Nolan thing is is your typical like you know, I'm a I'm a creator, like a <laughs> piece of shit thing where like, you know, this is like this is how I work. You know, you're not working unless you're standing. Which if we if we just like if we take away the like I don't know, the 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 flawed logic behind that and like the what that implies for like everyone else who yeah. works in the creative industry. Um like for him to be kind of a hard ass about like subjecting other people to it just doesn't mm -hmm. that yeah that's, that's the problem i have yeah. with it like if, mm -hmm. if that's his worldview cool dude like live by your own standards but don't like don't hold everyone else to that yeah and i could even i could even get behind him wanting the actors and actresses to do it it's because like they're in on this creatively and they're also getting paid like a lot more money but like why like does the fucking like grip have to do that god i hope not like like just let at least them sit yeah, right. you know like I, I don't know like i don't know did it apply how to the far crew? back does it go like, yeah like, that's what i was thinking the too like are they not allowed to sit too and, and how long has this been a thing like <laughs> yeah is it is yeah. it one of his weird quirks that was like i've instilled this ever since my first movie since i made uh following you know <laughs> or is it or is it something that like since he got leverage after like how big the dark knight was like now oh. he can now he can use that to be like also i want this in the contract i yeah. mean he he's been working with the same people it looks like so maybe they it's all true. understand yeah it's true it's again yeah. it's like i i can totally yeah. i uh, there's like the 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 side of me that like wants to give the benefit of the doubt that's like yeah maybe he he did it on a film and like it actually brought some like extra energy and like it helped out so it's just like a thing that he like likes to do but like yeah, once you start forcing people, yeah, I don't, I don't like when directors Let's... think they're dictators. Yeah, because that goes against 
I don't know. I feel like we talked about this before where it's like, does working as a collective and it letting others express themselves creatively in this creative process make the thing better or yeah. do you need to be the dictator and have everything be your exact vision I, and that makes it better and i've said this before like i don't i would never want like i don't want an army of me i want everybody to like bring what yeah. they're gonna bring to it like i'm I'm asking the artists to bring their best to it and bring their ideas to it. I'm not going to yeah, also then make of, them yeah. fucking stand the whole time. You know, like from, I'm, from, from me to tell them how to be creative. Like, right. Exactly. Yeah. You got to do what works for you. And we're going to work together on this, on this thing to bring the thing to, to life. And yeah. if it's not what I had in, I didn't have in mind nerf, like stutter peeing in that, <laughs> in that one shot, in that one clip. but, but Jordan battle did it and it was great. Yeah, I'll put it in the jar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was great. And that's how that's how the creative process should work. God. What if our first piece of merch was a pee pee poo poo jar? <laughs> be, I want uh, there to be another sticky note that has the pee pee poo 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 jar and then broadcast can drop in. That's what the, a virtual the, coin. the negativity jar was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Do pee pee poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, has this whole conversation about chairs been negative or not? I can't tell. That's a good point. Uh, We've been positive toward I, creative individuals. Yeah. I, th I think our outlook has been, has been not totally like pessimistic. Yeah. yeah. I said benefit of doubt at one point. That means something. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's so funny. Well, cool. I think that might be it for today's episode. Um, Whoa, are we done already? I, yeah, yeah. It's, been a, it's, it's been a minute. It's been like a whole, <laughs> whole it's hour. It's been a couple of minutes uh thank you all I'm so much having for having so much fun with i know people. it goes by <laughs> well i mean we just like all we do now is like text each other tiktoks and, and yeah, funny true. twitter so it's like jordan come back <laughs> all we do is talk yeah. um thank you everybody so much uh we'd love it still if you could uh share uh with your with your friendos if you like it um we'd appreciate it um oh, and uh no oh, please we're wilting we need you to pee on us <laughs> we need we need <laughs> We the need more views. Save us. Yeah. <laughs> Water us with your views. <laughs> uh, and with that, we will see you next week. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>